What is going on, everybody? Welcome back, Texas All Water Fishing, and uh, I gotta kind of keep it down. Um, getting ready to uh, go fishing with uh, Captain Charles and Laddie. You know, we want to get into some sheepies, kind of what we're targeting. Um, hopefully, we can get some crab and uh, and get some black drum. Um, I know crab is little hit and miss and, and kind of scarce. Um, I just called one bait shop and they didn't have any, so I'm going to swing by a different one and see if we can get some crab because, you know, those black drum love crab and we're in a sheephead run, so we're going to get some live shrimp and uh, get some crab because uh, the drums are running as well. Uh, we did see a few reds caught at the jetties yesterday, quite a few reds caught by um, one, one particular boat, so we're going to run out and see if we can catch some bait you know reds love sand trout so hopefully we'll start the day off getting some sandies and then book over to the jetties and uh and start hooking up but thanks for coming back don't forget like comment subscribe share all that stuff really helps the channel out tremendously fingers crossed i'm gonna finish getting all my gear together and then i'm gonna jump in the truck and head on out That's a flounder. <laughs> it's a little flatty on a little piece of shrimp. There we go. Another flounder. <laughs> wow, another flounder. Same one. This is yeah, this one's actually this one's a little smaller. Yeah. There we go. Got you that time. Got you that time, buddy. Got you that time, buddy. Yeah. I know I felt you a second ago. The flounder run is still going on. Look at this. Boy, what you know about them flatties? Flounder running. Oh. Ouch. Come on, hurry. Ouch, ouch. hurry, hurry. Stay, stay. Be good. Behave. Ooh. Look at that. That's what I do. It's what I do. Catch flounder when I'm trying to catch. Yeah. When I'm trying to catch a uh, sand trout. Watch, I'm going to catch a sand trout in the front of this nose right here. Watch. Watch this. It's how I do it. It's how I do it right y'all. The sand trout are eluding me. Oh, there you go. Ooh, I caught it. I caught it, Mr. Sand Trout. I said I'm going to catch the sand trout at the front of the boat. There it goes. Oh, Sandy. You got him. Hey. Laddie, how did you catch a mullet? Is that a mullet? Dude, you just caught a mullet. You just caught a mullet. tight. Try to keep it tight. Don't let me get any slack on it. Are you there? Keep it tight. 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 Keep it Came off. You oh, broke. Snap. Dang it. That's going to be broke. No, 
Wow, it looked like he hit a rock or something underneath this. That's awesome! Did it break the line? Yep, it broke your hook oh, and your nice. and your weight. Yeah. Like it got it maybe ran into a rock underneath us and, and cut cut you off. There you go, Letty! Get him, Letty! There she is! <laughs> there she goes. There you go, and he just said drag. Keep it just keep it tight. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Oh, it's, oh, a, it's shark. a shark. It's a sharky shark. I was just asking about shark. Saying the water's kind of warm. It's a bonnet head. Oh, bonnet. There we go. Pretty little guy. It feels so cool. Look, it's going to bite you. Ah! There you go. Woo! Ooh, that was a hook set. That was a hook set. Bring him up. Yeah. I can't see. I can't see. Oh, he's going down. He's going down. Keep him up. Oh, oh, it's a big old gap top. It is a huge gap top. That's a big one. Oh my gosh! That's a big gap top. He's on five. Five? That's a big one. Five pounds yeah. right on the dime. Dang. Yeah, right five pounder. Five pounds. Five pounds. Five pounder. Here we go. Five pound gap top. Man, yeah, I'll take a picture of my phone. That's a record. Like maybe like. There you go. Oh my gosh! She's on fire. Oh Woo! Laddie! Laddie! Every time we're talking about moving and stuff, this is what happens. Laddie. Oh, that's a good that one. Thing is, that's a good. That's right, a good me, red. Let me try to get some of this stuff. That's out a of your good head. red. That's a good red right there, Laddie. Laddie. Excuse Laddie screaming. Mm -hmm. That was. She's she's like a ventriloquist. She can scream without moving her mouth. That was her screaming, <laughs> not me. Oh, oh. oh. It's gonna be the biggest gaff top we've ever seen. Like a 18 pound gaff top. top. Don't try to force it. Yeah, don't try to force it. Let him go. Whenever he, whenever he runs, don't reel. Yeah, light tackle. Yeah, there you go. Now you can reel it. You can start getting him back in. He starts running around the boat. We're screwed. Yeah. Yeah, we got lines in the water in the back of the boat. Want to lose this one? We already lost a good one. He's going to the back too. Where he lost, sure he lost one, one nice red. Yeah, this is live shrimp. See, I was saying that with the birds over here in that current, I said, I'm probably throwing on the wrong side. No, uh, yeah, I mean, I've been throwing way into that right there. I've just been kind of just chilling by the rocks. Oh, what did you catch? You caught a kind of sand trout? There you go. He's shaking. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice red. <laughs> Trying to shake his hook out of his mouth. Going left to right. There he goes. Let him go. Let him go. Just let him go. Let him go. Just keep the line tight. Just let him go when he wants to go. The thing is, like you, you're, you're going to let him wear himself out, make himself tired. So you don't want to put extra, no, too much pounds on your, too much weight on your line. So he's already hooked. So there's no reason to rush him really. Now we got all the lines out of the way. You just don't want him to go to the back of the boat or underneath the boat. So if he does, we'll just hand off the rod and try to keep him going. Yeah, yeah. Here he comes and makes surface right here, Charles. Oh, nice big ugly. Things a big ugly. Things a nice big ugly. Oh, he's fun. Yeah. A nice big, big, big ugly black drum. Oh yeah, nice big ugly. And it's the season. It's a drum run. There you go. Just keep your line tight. You got him. There you go. Nice big guy. Oh my god. Nice big guy. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice one. Oh. Laddie, I'm on. That's what I'm talking about. Woo. Oh. Where's he at? 28? Almost 28? If I could catch a redfish this, this heavy. That's perfect. Thing. Awesome fish. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Swan pickle. Um, swan pickle ball. Um, yeah, pickle ball I guess lake. we do. It's an antitoxin, so we do need it. It's for some of the rat baits. 
you know, so yeah. Um, Where's your yeah, net at? Okay, I see it back there. I see it. I'll get it when I get you. Uh, no, I That's have a nice that. one, huh? It's either a good it's red or a good drum. Yes, but it's coming up. <clears throat> it's a redfish. Nice. Yeah, it's a red. No, I don't. All right, no, come on. I'm not gonna buy that anymore. It's gonna be like right at 20. Nice. Oh yeah, he's oh, twenty. Um, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, twenty-two. All right, I'll work on when I get back. Yeah, almost twenty-two. Hold him up. Let's take a look. Yeah, we got twenty-twos in my okay, shoes. It made five. Yeah. Yeah. Take it. Laddie got something. Bring him on up to the deck, Miss Laddie. Tight lines, tight lines, tight lines. Tight lines. Yes, ma'am. There you go. Another good drum, another good drum. What was it? Another black drum. There we go. Woo! You got it. It's a good See, size one. Than the other good one, size maybe. one. Yeah, it looks a little bigger, doesn't it? There we go, oh, Laddie oh, with the hot hand today. Oh, <laughs> Laddie with the hot hand today. Man. There you go. Awesome. Awesome. I'll take a picture for you too. Thank you. Well, that is going to do it. You know, we came out with Captain Charles. His information is below. We came out with Laddie. Her information is below as well. She has a uh, pet clinic hospital in Pearland. So if you're in need of, of uh, you know, your pets ever need some uh, emergency hospitalization uh, attention, you know, her information is down below. So check her out. She is uh, a wonderful, wonderful vet, a great person, and, you know, and Kevin Charles is too. So you want to book a trip, hit him up. He'll be running trips uh, all, all spring and the summer and beyond um you know today just wasn't in our cards you know we we had strong winds yesterday so this morning i thought you know when, by the time we get around or when we get around to the jetties uh they're probably gonna be a little sandy and a little dirty and they were just that you know we didn't have the uh although we had a lot of chop and uh it was a little messy it wasn't really you know the the siltiness of the water and the way the water was flowing in the current wasn't a lot of current it was just a lot of chop so you know that that makes the bite pretty funky out there and, and a little tough um but you know laddie had the hot hand she really got into some of the fish she outfished me and charles today and uh more power to her you know i know she was like super excited and super stoked and uh she's still waiting to come out here and get on the jetties and uh get her limit so hopefully next time we'll uh, we'll get her on her limit, and she'll be able to scratch that off her bucket list to come out and limit out on sheephead. It's one of the one of her 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 target species that she really likes to target. I, I love catching sheephead too, and they can be very abundant, you know, during this time of year as they do their migration process. But thanks for tuning in. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below. You know, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, then subscribe to the channel really helps the channel out a lot like the video leave a comment all that stuff helps 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 and uh hopefully next time you catch me hooking up thanks